guess not much else to say. Um, so far, two episodes in, and I'm I'm very surprised. It's not to say it's bad, but I'm just it's very different from what I expected of the original Transformers with the Autobots versus the Decepticons. I'm. It's better than Bayformers, that's all I can say. Uh, at least the action is like more easily visible, like you can follow it a bit better. And there's not as many explosions, so that's a plus. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into this with episode 3, the end of the three-part pilot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys still want me to keep playing the intro. I mean, probably make the video a lot shorter just to just go into the episode. I'll be considering that. Not, I mean, it's not that much to react with the opening. It's pretty much the same. Oh no, Optimus! Looks bad, Jazz. Ratchet, see what repairs are needed. Let's get him up on his wheels. Ready? Oh, that's Ratchet? Careful. Uh, I thought that was... This is a lot more different than I thought. Can you hear me? Oh, oh. He's still generating. Roller. What... What happened to him? Down, but not out. Rolls one tough little Autobot. Prime, can you transform? So is he a minicon or is he just like I'll a little try. drone? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I can do it. Uh, uh, I've almost got it. Come on, Prime, you can do it. Try harder. You got it. You got it. Come on. All he did was take a tumble. It's not like he lost his organs or anything. Some blast you took. So dramatic. Gosh. Bumblebee and spark plug. They're still inside. How will we ever find them under all that rock? Only one way. Stand back. Start digging. I found them over here. Yes. I thought we'd have it. Thanks to you two, the Decepticons are finished. Well, we were almost finished, too. <laughs> Wheeljack wasn't kidding when he said it would blow in 60 seconds. 59.99 to be exact. With the Decepticons buried under all that rock, we can resume our search for the resources we need. And we can return to Cybertron? Very soon, Mirage. Very soon. Deep and lubric! How convenient. Too fast for us in the air. Well, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. I'll stop them. Ironhide, come back. I'll get him. Blue Streak, no! Oh, that's supposed to be Blue Streak? There's too many of them. They're out of reach. Stop yapping, Blue Streak. This is my fight. Make it our fight. Skywalker! 
to Megatron. Request permission to teleport. Permission granted. Teleport and destroy. <laughs> It's kind of an OP power if you could just teleport like that. It's basically Tracer from Overwatch, you just bloop. This is why Autobots shouldn't fly. <laughs> Still talk, old buddy. Where'd you get hit? Back end somewhere. Think my linkage is busted. I'll check it. Wow, they're so informed about their like their body parts. <laughs> if I got hit, I'd be like, must bleed. Must bleed got hit. You sure? Yes. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but it's must bleed for sure. Just remember, there's a thin line between being a hero and being a memory. Maybe Ironhide's ready for a nice squishy office job. Hey, no way. Soon as Ratchet tightens a few bolts, I'll be right back in action. We'll see. Let's get out of here. This is like how the trailer just magically appears on Optimus. Fellow robots, and he doesn't want anything to happen to them. I think he'd make a neat president. <laughs> <laughs> President? That's a little far stretch. Don't think he likes being a prisoner. Can't say I blame him. You know, I'm surprised the Decepticons haven't tried to rescue him. I'm not. They don't care about anyone. Not even their own. Hey, Rabbit! Watch this! <laughs> Here's your friend Megatron to keep you company. <laughs> Uh, something about that layering doesn't look quite right. Can we get back to Cybertron where you make me a big house with a four car garage? <laughs> Holograms look so real, nobody will know the difference. Mirage, you just gave me a great idea. Why do they need a four door garage? Hologram? That's right, Prime. But I mean a big one. What did you have? Unless he's thinking what I think he's through. thinking. Ah, four door garage, one for him and three more for. What's the hologram of? Oh, that's how you know there's guys working on this show. I just saw Prime. He told me Teletran One's located a secret supply of rocket fuel. Where? Not too far from here, about a hundred His voice, his lips didn't west. animate. Then maybe we can go back to Cybertron? Why, there's enough rocket fuel at that base to make four trips to Cybertron. Come on, let's tell Ironhide. Make him feel better. But what about Ramage? Don't worry about him. He's not going anywhere. Wow. That's... <laughs> You don't even have opposable thumbs! How does that work? <laughs> Why do you even have the cage outside? Should have been inside the base. You guys suck at keeping prisoners. <laughs> what happened? Ravage. He escaped. Perfect. The rocket base is 140 kilometers due west of the Autobot camp. Excellent, Ravage! Excellent! The rocket fuel Wait, Ravage can talk? We need to defeat the Autobots How does that work? Right on schedule, aren't we? He only has a voice when he's like in tape mode, so they just play it. <laughs> made my contribution! You've also made clear your desire to replace me as leader of the Decepticons. Mistake number one. It's time for a change, Megatron. It's time for action, not words. I am the leader of the future. You couldn't lead androids to a picnic. How can you pretend to lead the Decepticons? Megatron. It's, it's empty. You 
fail to dispose of me when you had the chance, Starscream. Mistake. So what's the difference between them and androids? I'm not turn. sure if... Please, how that. I, I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. Please, don't shoot! Megatron! Megatron! We attack the rocket base. But why? You're machines. You don't need to sleep. Yep, infrared. I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. The transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Seriously, why are they wearing jackets? It doesn't make any sense. Hold it! Stop fighting! What in the universe is going on here? Springs! Junk! We've been had. That's right, Prime. I was on your little scheme from the start. Did you really think you could fool me by allowing Ravage to escape? Did you? Go on, Megatron. You're in the driver's seat. While you and the other Autobots have been fighting a bunch of loose screws, the real Decepticons have been at the real rocket site. You've lost, Prime. The Decepticons have won! <laughs> Wouldn't they have noticed something was the off once they punched the hologram? Oh, it's over, Prime. Oh, I know, this feels kind of weird. <laughs> Unidentified aircraft approaching, sir. A lot of them. This is Cape Carlson Control Tower. Identify yourselves. Identify. Over. They're moving fast, Captain. Repeat. Cape Carlson to aircraft. Give us an ID and a flight mission. That's an order. Look, they're coming down. Sound the alarm! <laughs> Yes, shoot them with bullets. Duh, take them down. Who are they? What's happening down there? Our weapons are totally ineffective. There's nothing we can. Excellent! Excellent! Prepare the Energon cubes! Course back to Cybertron charted. Space cruiser fueled and ready for departure. What are your orders, Megatron? Prepare for blast off! We have come to a moment of truth. The Decepticons are in position to return to Cybertron. We have no choice but to attack them directly. But this battle will be most dangerous. So I ask for volunteers. I don't even know half of these guys. <laughs> Jazz? Volunteers! Step forward! Autobots, transform! Start your engines! Ready, Prime! Let's roll! What is Spike and Spark Plug supposed to do? Not sure what their purpose is in all this. So close they don't even have guns. Space cruiser ready for boarding. So very, very close to conquest. Drive to Autobots. Encircle the base. Decepticons, it is time to return to Cybertron and conquer the Autobots forever!
thought Soundwave was supposed to be the lookout. How did you guys not notice this till now? <laughs> Seriously though, what's Spike and Park Bluck supposed to do? <laughs> They're just getting attacked. Throw to knock that off. It can't be just a rock, can it? I like how the quality of the animation just changes back and forth. The Transformers will return after these messages. to the Transformers. It's over, Prime. We've lost. No, not yet. Sideswipe. Give me your rocket pack. My rocket pack? Now! Uh, yeah, right. This is crazy, Prime. You'll never catch it. I'll be back, Jazz. But he could fly without it before. What makes a rocket pack different? But seriously, they were able to fly without a rocket pack before. Why did Sideswipe like have one randomly like that? Check you out. I said I'm fine. You did all anyone could do, Prime. I don't know. Maybe. Where's Mirage? That's strange. I saw him before during the fight. He's gone now. At last, total victory is within my grasp. Not yours, Megatron. Mine. <laughs> I see that you have learned nothing, Starscream. Wrong! I've learned a great deal! I won't miss this time! Beware, Starscream. If you dispose of me, there will always be someone waiting to dispose of you. Let them try! I've waited for this moment a long time, Megatron, and my time is now! Autobot invader. Your scanners suck, that's why, Soundwave. <laughs> Extinction to all traitors! Space cruiser losing power. Do something, Soundwave! 
That's an impressive amount of damage for one Autobot. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a cheer? <laughs> that sounded like some raptors. I don't think it was a mechanical failure, Jazz. Look. Mirage! You did it! You stopped the Decepticons! Somehow I feel like that should have just made him drop like a rock. But okay. Back to Cybertron. But at least you could have waited for us. Sorry, Prime. The ship was full. <laughs> well done, Mirage. Well, let's get back to the base. We have a ship of our own to repair. Can I go back to Cybertron with you? Maybe you better ask your father. Can I, Dad? Only if I can go with you. All right, let's go. Yes, never mind if Autobot the atmosphere on Cybertron can even, you know, keep you guys alive or whatever. But okay, <laughs> let's let's do it. <laughs> No guarantee there's any oxygen there, but <laughs> let's go. Because the Autobots stopped the Decepticons from stealing Earth's resources, the governments of the world have agreed to give Optimus Prime the energy he needs to revitalize Cybertron. Oh, that was so easy. He just had to save the world from the Decepticons that were only attacking a small desert area. Cybertron. Ready, Spike? It's almost time to blast off. I'll be right there, Prime. One more thing. I sure am glad we don't have to worry about Megatron and all those Decepticons anymore. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> oh wait, this is how the Bayformers started. Megatron's at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> the The Transformers will return after these messages. Yes, return after these messages to watch the ending credits. Awesome. Yes. I mean, why didn't just go into the credits? It's already over. Jeez. Toe. Well, there you have it. There's the end of the riveting three-part pilot of OG Transformers. It is what it is. I mean, I can't really say much about it other than <laughs> why did Optimus suddenly need a jetpack when he's been able to fly just fine? I, I guess it's for a booster, but then it's like, why did Sideswipe just, hey, I, I have a freaking jetpack. Oh, a convenience plot. <laughs> I don't know how, how how to feel about that. You know, it's cartoons made to sell toys. I still don't know who like half of these Autobots or Decepticons are. Like they kind of popped in and out. Like the only consistent ones are like what Soundwave, Megatron, Starscream, and then you got I kind of like saw Thundercracker and Skywalker. I can't quite tell the difference between them yet because you know they're just like copy paste of Starscream and then on Autobot side you got Jazz he's got like the hook shot which they use in uh, Fall of Cybertron and then Ironhide he's pretty recognizable uh, can't quite tell the difference between uh what's this Ratchet and then Prowl also has like that crest thing too and then there's Blue Streak which just came out of nowhere I'm like where did uh, yeah, so far the only ones I can recognize on Autobot side is so Optimus, Bumblebee, uh, Ironhide, Jazz, 
Wheel Jack. Wheel Jack's pretty recognizable. Uh, the rest of them kind of just blend in together with their car forms. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure by the time I hit the 13th episode, I'll be able to like recognize all of them. Like they're like color wise, like if they can keep the coloration consistent, which I heard they did it in the original broadcast. But if they just keep things consistent, I could probably like get an idea of who's who and be able to recognize them later. But yeah, um, that was enjoyable. I, I got into it. I mean, being an adult now, I it's not too stupid that like I just had to like, okay, this is, this is dumb. I can't watch this anymore. But it's like it still has a decent enough writing that I can still keep watching it as an adult. So we'll see what happens. Uh, this, this is it for now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a regular schedule of updates to this reaction series, but like, I'll just keep you updated. Just stay, uh, just subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, because apparently that's what YouTube does now. It's like If you subscribe to someone, you won't automatically get notified of their updates, which is kind of dumb. It's like the reason you subscribe to someone is that you want updates from them, and it's like, no, no notifications unless you hit the bell icon. It's like, wow, okay. Should have been like the other way around, where it's like if you subscribe, you're automatically notified unless you hit the bell icon and you close off the notification. That would make more sense, but I don't know. YouTube will be YouTube. So this is it for Zero Raptor reacts to Transformers. Uh, I don't know when episode four would be popping up, but it is coming. We'll just see if I can find the time for it. All right, later.